The Grim Reaper. Oh, yeah. Lots of blood. There's blood here. Blood here. See? Oh, yeah. Oh. There's the other part. Oh, there's the other part of the arrow. Oh. Yeah, that's not much, Ranger. Wipe it with oh, your finger. Yeah, it is we went like through these. Yeah, right here. We went through these trees here. It's gonna be easy to drag him down the hill. This is probably where he, we heard him rolling right around. It's right there. Yeah. Wow. He's... Oh wow, he's beautiful. Oh yeah. That's a beautiful bear. Oh yeah, he's bigger than mine. Definitely. Two bears in three days. Team Subri. Team Subri. Over and out. <laughs> Hi, my name's Dale Boyer, executive producer for Bear Magnet TV. Today, next gen, Bronco 340, we're gonna see it perform. Check it out. There you have it, Performance Plus, Next Gen Crossbow Bronco 340. Pick up one today. Hello and welcome to Bearing It All in the Kitchen. My name is Matthew Beausoleil, chef of Bear Magnet TV. We're gonna show you a simple and delicious dish that will wow your hunting party. Today we're making wild bear shepherd's pie. Let's get cooking. All bear meat used during Bearing It All in the Kitchen has been harvested by Bear Magnet TV pro staff. Let's see today's ingredients. 
ground bear, frozen corn, frozen peas, beef broth, butter, Worcestershire sauce, and fresh chopped onions. Let's get cooking. We've preheated our titanium exclusive pan and we're ready to add our butter and onions. We're now going to let our onions simmer in the butter and when they become translucent, we'll add in our peas and corn. The onions are nice and translucent, tender. We're now going to add in our peas and our corn. We're going to incorporate them well with the onions. We'll let them warm for a couple minutes and then we'll add in our ground bear. Our onions, corn, and peas are ready to go. We're going to add in our ground bear meat. We'll add it in small chunks. We'll season our beef with sea salt season from up high to get even distribution, and fresh cracked pepper. We're going to give it a good stir, and once the meat is ready, we'll move on to the next step. Our bear meat is fully cooked. We're now going to add in our beef broth. our Worcestershire sauce, mix it well, we're going to reduce our heat to low and let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then we're ready to plate it into the casserole. We're now ready to assemble our shepherd's pie. We're going to take our beef and vegetable mixture, place it into our casserole. Level out the mixture. And now it's time to top with our mashed potatoes. Try and coat it as evenly as possible. Once the surface is covered properly, we can make little peaks by just tapping our spatula, which will result in a nice end product. 
We're now going to place our casserole in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes until our potatoes are nice and golden brown. We've removed our shepherd's pie from the oven. We've got a nice brown color, nice peaks. It's ready to plate. Top it with some parsley, fresh cracked pepper. Well, there you have it, wild bear shepherd's pie. It will surely impress your guests. For this recipe and more, check back to bearmagnettv.com. I'm Matthew Beausoleil for Bearing It All in the Kitchen. We'll see you soon. Ciao. <laughs>
Hello, my name is Matthew Beausoleil, host and chef of Bearing It All in the Kitchen on Bear Magnet TV. I'm here today to introduce you to our new product sponsor, Largewood Canada. These beautiful end grain cut cutting boards and wood products are handcrafted in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia and would be a great addition to any kitchen. To learn more, visit largewoodcanada.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook at Bear Magnet TV and BearMagnetTV.com. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Hi, my name is Dale Boyer, executive producer for Bear Magnet TV, and this is your Bear Magnet TV tip of the week. Shot placement. Where do I shoot that bear? Broadside shot will definitely do the job. Making sure that that front leg is forward to get that shoulder blade out of the way. Place that arrow, takes out both lungs. Great shot. My preferred shot is quartering away. Again, behind that shoulder blade, exiting on the opposite shoulder will guarantee that bear down within 60 yards. That's your Bear Mega TV tip of the week.